found yourself in a toxic uh, organization or in an organization with a toxic culture or in a toxic team or with a toxic leader then this video is for you how many times have you thought of quitting that job honestly and i'm not even here to judge let's talk about this openly on the internet <laughs> but yeah how many times have you thought of just letting it go and just throwing it all away because i'm here with you i totally understand i've been in such situations before so let's talk about it in this era of awareness about mental health of course you cannot wallow and sit in filth for a very long time so for me one of the key things that i've learned being in such environments is don't sit in the filth for too long it will start not to smell so basically what it means is you need to get out of there as soon as possible so if you're in a large organization try to find another team that you can join if it's a small organization just take yourself out another important uh, lesson i seen from my situation and others around me is that do not take yourself out without a plan so what do i mean do not take yourself out if you don't have another job lined up do not take yourself out to just sit at home and think about you know all the negative things that have been happening in, i mean in that situation because it's not going to do you any good another lesson for me that i took from being in this type of situations is learn how to cope within that situation so what it means is Yes, you cannot quit today. I mean, there, I know there are times where you feel like, oh, like really, do I need to go to work today? But don't. Keep it going. And learn how to regulate and self-soothe when now you're off work. So because you do need the job, you do need the money. And if you're in that situation, try and find a way to ease off the pressure. If it's a toxic leader or a toxic colleague in such situations, be being the bigger person doesn't work <laughs> i've noticed that being the bigger, bigger person does not work so for me i've seen that ignoring the situation and living your life you can only allow someone else i was told this by a very um good mentor of mine that you can only allow someone to affect yourself i mean they can try whatever they want to do to harm you or hurt you but you're the one who allows that situation or that person to hurt you so let it just bounce off, bounce, bounce everything off. Let it go, let bygones be bygones. Finally, find a good, find the reason why you're holding on to that job. So for me, for example, it's the money. I love money. I love being able to buy and spend whatever I need to. So for me, it's the money. I hold on to the fact that I earn good money and the fact that I earn good money, that is giving me the ability to enjoy my life, have a good lifestyle, have, you know, whatever resources or whatever lifestyle i want to live is what gives me the motivation to go to work every day so find that one thing and cling on to it right and you know with that it keeps you going until the next opportunity comes for you what do you think i mean let me know what you think in the comments does any of these examples or these situations resonate with you let me know what you think in the comments